what I will tell you. We do all kinds of it. It doesn't matter. My name is Nathan Schmidt, and I work in the produce aisle. I handle your organic fruits every day. All the people, not just guys. That's the thing about slow walkers. No bars on the cage because there's no way out. God, there's nothing to watch anymore. There's no more shows to watch anymore. I've seen all the shows that are on there right now. They're good. I mean, I saw the. I saw one a couple weeks. It was fine, you know. The, the, it could have been written a little better. That was what I thought about that one, but. I just haven't been feeling that good lately. Um, but something with a dark, with a dark, a mystery, and a little. And it just feels like a lot of the time, like it feels like there's no, there's no fucking good shows. What is... It feels like there's nothing to... It feels like there's nothing... It feels like there's nothing to... I watched the new Howie Menzel comedy special with the four kids in it or something. Tell me about your life here in prison. Do you read newspapers? Do you listen to the radio? Do you watch television? Do you communicate with people on the outside? What Friends, neighbors, how do you do to you? My name's Nathan Schmidt. And I'm here to talk to you about tax evasion. One in three of your friends is currently committing tax evasion, and the Federal Investment Council is forcing me to warn you all that, even though it's really fun, easy to get away with, and profitable, you shouldn't commit tax fraud under any circumstances. I feel like there's no shows anymore. I think the food's here. of coming out and pretending to be funny and on when things are going so terribly wrong right now. anymore that's all that's all I mean we need to begin you know they're they're spending all this fucking money on stuff like infrastructure and re uh, fixing the roads construction I just feel like uh, I just feel like I want to watch more I 
Anime! And he's got a wacky new instrument called the drums. Get this, folks. You hit him, and you pretend you're a real musician. So... It's a living, folks. To a school for the blind. And uh, he, f he flunked out because he could see. Can I get a... Yeah, that's right. So, uh, have you heard about this, folks? Have you heard about this? Like, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? I have nothing. 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 Nothing.
Yeah, there's not gonna be any tip. Jazz to me is always, uh, you know, it's like a rocket ship. It helps you, uh, helps you to blast off from, uh, you know, whatever's bothering you on that, uh, that day. I'll never forget this one time. It was, uh, me and Rodney Skaggs, the, uh, trombone player. It was the last, the last gig, the last one on the, uh, the tour, so... Me and the other boys from the community college, we figured, hey, why not, why don't we, uh, tie one on? Tie one on at the local bar before, you know, we play, uh, play the set. And so, like, the chord change is happening, and I go into, I go into the bird, you know, it's bird, like, uh... We're hitting fast, you know, like 148, like it's a good clip, we're, we're fucking swinging. It always gives me nosebleeds. Yeah, you, 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 you ever noticed how dry the air in the airport is? It always gives me nosebleeds, like real gushers. Like, I'm losing pine of blood all over the airport floor. Airport security uh, tackles me to the ground from biohazard. They puts a tent, they puts a tent, they puts a tent, they puts me in a hazmat. So much blood, it's like a slip and slide. There's so much blood, it's like a slip and slide. It's like I'm on the rag. It's like I've got my period. I'm... It's like I've got my period because I've been having all sex with a bunch of people I meet on these dating apps. <laughs> Mental illness. Now that's a whole can of worms. I'm I got the anxiety. I got my anxiety to get on these dating apps. So I got the I get on these dating apps and I get anxiety. I mean, you're all gonna die! You ever heard of the twang? Riders on the storm. Hey, hey guys, hey! Hey! <laughs> How about Summer Emerald, huh? <laughs> Crazy. So, that's the thing about slow walkers. Uh, slow walkers, walking behind slow, wa slow walkers is I always feel like, uh, <laughs> they're so slow. I wish they'd fucking hurry up and kill themselves. Because they don't deserve to live. They're like fucking pigs. Fucking animals. I fucking hate slow walkers. We've got new strains, right? Can't be too careful. Can't rush this shit. Yeah. I bet it won't be three years from now. You're jacking off your dog in your fucking one room, waiting for your Amazon ass wipes, your fucking uh, fizzy water machine to come. You'll see me, and you'll say, God damn, that was three fucking years ago. I'm an old man. My life's gone. Why? It's a fucking travesty! They're killing us! They're killing us! They're fucking killing us! Alright, thanks everyone. Have a good night! Riders on the storm. Riders on the storm. Into this house we're born. Into this world we're thrown.
I'm Summer Emerald. I'm a pharmacy assistant and I can All right, look, we're, we did the crawfish rescue because I noticed there was a parasite on its claw. So now that it took that off, it's time to uh, release him. All right, you're free now, buddy. You're free. Sometimes it's hard for them um, once they become emotionally attached. All right, off you go. You're home now. And that's what wildlife rescue is all about. Whenever he brings the food to my door, he, oh, I know what he's fucking up to. He's going to try to come in here and he's going to try to sex traffic me. He's going to try to steal my sandwiches and then he's going to sex traffic me. Birthday. Good day, mates. My name's Krispy Kreme. Every jack off has to have their little comedy videos they post on the internet. For what? For what? Their friends don't even watch it. Their friends don't even enjoy it. I, I'm just. Uh, there is no difference between me and any of those fucking dickheads who post their stupid bits online that nobody thinks is funny. Okay? There is no fucking difference. And I I'm gonna be a go- I'm gonna go be a hostess at Denny's and I'm gonna be a lot fucking happier, I'll tell you that much. Seen in the, uh, paper that, uh, scratch tickets is buck fifty off until Thursday. I seen, uh, 
two quarts of milk is sixteen dollars. Uh, gas is at a buck and a quarter. Mm. Oh, your uh, your brother called. You got any uh, any plan uh, what you're gonna do next? Gas station's hiring. Just gotta take the critter down to the vet. You see uh, a misaligned his toes coming uh, coming through the screen door the other day. So your mom and me uh, we put our we put our savings together. It's gonna be about sixteen hundred dollars. Get that cat's cuticles clean. So it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a dry Christmas. Yeah. Uh, I seen uh, I seen power aids on for buck thirty down at the dry Walmart. Uh, did I ever tell you how I had to drop out of Pee Wee hockey because I got addicted to uh, Pepto Bismol? That uh, Rick Mercer, he's got a four hour special. <laughs> yeah, that uh, Rick Mercer, he's got a six hour special that uh, your mom and me were gonna watch. Yeah, that 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 Rick Mercer Gord Downey uh, poetry competition. Uh, yeah, they're gonna run all eighteen hours of it on the CBC. So me and the boys are gonna get the get the trucks out and rev them up and watch that. I figure. Yeah, so the 30, 36 hour uh, Gord Downey Rick Mercer poetry contest. You know, from ninety six, the good one. Yeah, the one your mom and me like. Yeah, so they're gonna play all forty two hours of that. They're gonna broadcast it on Neil Young's barn so I figure I need to borrow about four hundred and sixty dollars uh, okay every time you look at it it adds like a week to its life that we have to fucking feed it for don't look at the dog it smells horrible don't go near it you're gonna stink up the whole you're gonna disturb and get its fumes going around in the air okay just sit the fuck down in the chair stressed out from running my pet lizard's Instagram account. I'm gonna have a fucking nervous breakdown. You the pressure that I'm being put under by the fans, I have to post every single day. I have to post every single day about three times. I'm so fucking stressed out from running my pet Lizard's Instagram account, I'm about to have a nervous breakdown. This is one of the worst times in my life. People are telling, I told my therapist, she said, we'll take a break from your pet Lizard's Instagram account. I said, I can't. It's my sole source of income. I have to post a fucking photo. I have to post a fucking photo of the lizard every day. If I don't post at least three stories, my revenue goes into the toilet. My revenue just slips. The sponsors are going to, they're driving me fucking crazy. They're going to fuck. They're going to fucking kill me. I've got a fucking mountain of lizard toys piled up in my bedroom in my little one, little tiny apartment. It smells like lizard piss. And I got a bunch of lizard toys piled up that I gotta take fucking, I, the, the lizard, the pet lizard toy company, something for free, I gotta take fucking pictures of the lizard with the toys. I hate that fucking lizard. Sometimes I think about killing it, you know. I wouldn't do it. I keep taking over my goddamn life. I can't go anywhere. That fucking lizard. I hate that fucking lizard. I can't fucking go anywhere. I can't, I don't have a life anymore. I can't go fucking anywhere because I have to take photos of the fucking lizard all the time. That fucking lizard is fucking killing me. Killing me, you know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do one of these days? I'm gonna go on Instagram Live and I'm gonna fucking shoot the lizard in the head for all the fans to see. I'm gonna kill that fucking lizard live on camera. The algorithm's out to get me. I've been posting reels with the lizard. 
every fucking day, four or five reels with the lizard, playing with him, wh whipping his arms around in the air, throwing him around. Oh man, the, the drugs I have to inject in that lizard just to wake it up, just to get it, just to get it moving for the day. Uh, the drugs I have to inject into that lizard just to wake it up, you know, just to get it mo The amount of drugs I have to pump into that critter just to wake it up, just to get it moving for the day. I'm about $30,000 in debt. I've pumped all my money into this fucking lizard. My fans will comment stuff about how the work I'm doing is important, bringing the lizard, bringing the attention of the lizard community, or bringing the lizard's, um, bringing the lizard to attention, lizard issues, to the forefront. They wanted me to make, they wanted my lizard to make a statement about the, you know, the human rights violation. I hate that fucking lizard! Such a fucking piece of shit. Piece of shit fucking lizard. Fucking son of a bitch lizard. I'm gonna cut its fucking head off. I'm gonna kill that fucking lizard. Lizard ruined my fucking life. Johnny Depp, he's, he's raw, he's real, he's gritty. He's not polished like these other Hollywood slime bags.